This tutorial will be a reversible crochet cap. This tutorial is going to be worked with the Tunisian stitch and a crochet hook with a hook on both ends. The crochet hook is a size P16, 11.5 millimeters. We will be using four ply worsted weight yarn. I am working with four strands. You can work this with chunky yarn if you have access to chunky yarn. I chose to use the four ply worsted weight since more people have access to this size of yarn than they do the chunky yarn. This shows how you can take the smaller yarn and use it to make the thicker hats and projects that call for the chunky size yarn. So I'm just doubling them up, two of them together like this. We will start by attaching a slip knot to the crochet hook. Take the loose end. This is going to be two strands. Wrap it over the main strand. Now you have a loop. Take the loop, wrap it over the main strand. Put your hook below the center strand back up the opposite side. This creates the slip knot. We will work a chain of 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Continue working until you have a chain of 40. You can easily modify this to a larger or smaller chain. This is one of those projects that is flexible and does not have to be 40. It will easily work for different size heads. The chain is complete. One thing I want to mention is when you join the two ends together, you want to make sure the chain is flat and not twisted. And you can see that this is the front side, this is the back side, and on the back side of the chain, there's a little loop right here. It's one loop, and this is the front side of the chain, and you can see two loops here, or the V look that's at the top of each stitch. So this is the back, and this is the front. You'll want to lay it down flat, flat like this. Make sure it's flat, and then get a hold of this end right here, and then bring the two ends together like this. Put your hook through the very first chain. Wrap the yarn over. Pull through. Pull through the loop on your hook. And you have joined it into a ring, a big ring, with your chain. And then you can see that the whole thing is flat and you won't have any twists in your chain. Put your hook through, through the chain. Yarn over, pull through, put your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through, put your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through, put your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through, put your hook through the chain, yarn over, pull through. Now I'm going to add a few more on and then I will come back and show how to take the loops off. Now I have all these loops on here and this is how much I have left to do going around back to the beginning. So what I need to do at this point is put on the second strand and I'm using two strands of yarn together here. What I'm going to do is fold it in half, wrap the loop over my hook, I'm going to pull through once and I'm going to let it hang. When you get your project complete you will want to remember to make knots at the beginning. I am not making a knot at this point. Wrap the yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and I'm going to pull it a little snug. I don't want it coming apart. Wrap the yarn over, pull through two, 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 Now when we get 
down here, you can leave a couple of loops on like this. And this one will start to get a little misshapen since it's not attached to anything. We want to continue adding loops back onto the hook now. And then you can see this is what we have completed. Now we're going to continue adding loops onto the hook like this. And it is somewhat time consuming to do this. And then you flip it around and then we start taking the loops back off the hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we'll flip it back around to the front and then continue adding loops onto the hook and this is how we work with the circle making a closed up hat. I'm going to go on ahead and complete this and then I will show what we do next for the next round. I am working my last loop here on this first round and now to continue we're going to move right on over here and this will be worked in the continual round and we're putting the hook right below these two loops yarn over pull through and this is the start of the second round put your hook below the vertical loop yarn over pull through and this is how we continue for the length of the cap. And this will be worked in a spiral. And you will continue adding loops and rounds. And then when you get so many on, you flip it around, yarn over, pull through two, 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 yarn over, pull through two. We will flip it back around. And then you can see right here, this is the beginning. We have our beginning tails and we moved right on to the next round. This is what the cap looks like through five rounds. We are working on the sixth round. This is what it looks like on the inside. And it is curling a little bit, but that's all right. I am continuing to add stitches, add as many of them as I can. And I'm not working them tight, I'm just working them loose working two strands of four ply worsted weight yarn. Then when I get so many on, flip it around and then take them off. And I will continue doing this for several more rounds. And you can stop at any point if you want a longer slouchier cap or if you want a smaller tighter beanie style cap, that's up to you. You can easily modify this into any style of cap. From here, which is the start, to up here, we have completed 18 rounds. At this point, we're going to be doing decreasing. We will be decreasing from 40 stitches down to 20. I'm going to be picking the loops up individually, putting my hook below the loop, yarn over, pull through, hook below the loop, yarn over, pull through. And I will be working the decreases as I take them off. Now we will flip it around. We wrap the yarn over and typically we will pull through two but we were pulling through three to work the decrease. 
yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through three, yarn over, pull through three. I'm going to flip it back around and you can see we have worked the decrease stitches right here. I'm going to put my hook below the stitch, yarn over, pull through, putting it below the next vertical stitch, yarn over, pull through, Flip it around. Yarn over, pull through three, 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 yarn over, pull through three. And this is what we have. You will continue around to the beginning working the decrease stitches. I am working the last few stitches off for this round. Now I'm going to flip it back around. Down here is the beginning and this is the top. You can see how it has started to decrease and get smaller right here. Here is where we decrease the stitches and I'm going to put my hook below both loops, yarn over, pull through, Put the hook below both loops, yarn over, pull through, hook below both loops, wrap the yarn over, pull through, put the hook below both loops, yarn over, pull through. This is where we decreased and this is our next round. You'll continue putting your hook below both the loops, wrap the yarn over, pull through, Put the hook below both loops, wrap the yarn over, pull through. And then when you need to take the stitches off, flip it around, yarn over, pull through two, 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 yarn over, pull through two. You will continue around to the beginning working individual stitches. At this point I'm going to stop with the decrease rounds. I'm going to wrap this strand over like this and then pull through. I'm going to pull that snug. I'm going to crochet over this strand of yarn. I'm putting my hook below the vertical loop like this and then work a single crochet. And I'm going to continue all the way around. I'm working below the vertical loop. working below the vertical loop and then crocheting right over this other strand of yarn. And this is just to add a little extra thickness since we worked with four strands throughout the whole cap. And this is what the last round looks like and that is to prevent any holes or gaps and so it has consistency with the rest of the cap and you will continue around to the beginning. This is what the top of the cap looks like and we will be sewing that up. We are going to work a slip stitch putting your hook below the two loops at the top of the stitch. Well really it's four loops but it's below the single crochet. Yarn over, pull through, pull through the loop on the hook, wrap the yarn over, pull through a little bit extra and this will be used for sewing the cap together. And I'm going to pull through a little bit extra with this one and 
and pull through. I have a great big needle here and I'm going to use this to sew the top of the cap together. And you can use either side. It is a reversible cap. So if you have one side that you favor more than the other, and that's what you want to do, you could create an inside. Now I'm going to thread my needle. Now I'm going to ease the top together and I'm sewing through these two loops like this or you could sew through one if you wanted to that's up to you how you want to do it and I'm sewing through both and easing them together like this Now the top part is sewn completely shut. This is on the inside. And this is on the outside. And so you may want to look just to make sure everything looks all right. And I can pull mine tight a little bit further like that to close it up. I'm going to go on ahead and make a knot here so everything stays in place. I am threading both strands of yarn through my needle like this. And then I'm going to just run it right between the threads just like this and come up over here. Now I'm going to take one strand out and then go back through another loop like that. I'm going to tie it in a knot. And then give it a little tug. Pulling it between the strands of yarn just like that and then cut it off and then the tail is hidden away so you could use either side if you wanted to. I will do the same thing with this one and I have already sewn in the tails at the beginning and they were sewn in the same way.